So again, we're at the point of telling his story. We've listened to your story. I've told you my story. Now it's time to talk about his story. If the person has indicated that they're on that justice scale, um, one way to proceed is to use the four spiritual laws, which of course starts with John 3, 16. If they show a knowledge of and an honor for the Bible, you might just take them to Romans. It has the advantage of keeping all of the scripture references in a short space, just a couple of pages apart. Romans 3, 10 is where we start. You'll just have to remember Romans 3.10. As the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. And the point is, nobody is uh, perfect before God. After Romans 3.10, go to Romans 3.23. Now again, right in the margin of your Bible, Romans 3.23, that indicates to drop down to the next verse and write a short description of what it is that you want to say. Romans 3, 23 says, everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Just underlying everyone has sinned. That is the point that you want to make here. The next verse is Romans 6, 23. Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. The penalty for our sin is eternal death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And you can just focus on those two things. We deserve death. God wants to give us life. From Romans 6, 23, drop back to Romans 5, verse 8. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So in the middle of that sin, God sent Jesus to die for us. Then take them to Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it's by believing in your heart that you're made right with God. And it's by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. So confessing with the mouth that Jesus is Lord. Confession here is more than simply saying magic word. It's agreeing with, it's making this a guiding principle in our life. And what is that principle? I'm no longer in control. Jesus is Lord. And you can finish the Romans road with Romans 10, verse 17. Faith comes from hearing. That is, hearing the good news about Christ. Now again, uh, take them to that point. Ask them. If uh, they do believe, if they do have that faith, and if they want to receive the Lord, then pray a prayer similar to what we prayed at the end of the four spiritual laws. Basically, I confess my sin. I recognize that Jesus died for my sin. I accept Jesus. You now have control. Um, next, in the next video, we'll take a look at those who are on a different scale.